Hey y'all, it's your girl Diva. What's up? I'm back again with another message. Excited to bring you this message, y'all. Listen, I grew up in a church that was based on those old time hymns. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Them old time hymns, they, they look in the hymn book and we sing a song, right? One of them I do strongly remember is I, I know I've been changed. I, changed i i know i've been changed angels in heaven done sign my name i was singing it while i was in there doing my hair this morning and i was just like oh my goodness that just took me way back but when you think of the words when i was younger you know you don't be thinking about that. You just be singing the song because your mama making you sing it. But that song is definitely great. It's gracious. It makes me grateful because I know that I've been changed. And when you've been changed, you can't allow the enemy to pull you back. Do you hear me? You can't allow the enemy to pull you back no matter how hard it gets. You can't allow the enemy to pull you back because he will. He will send people to bring you try to bring you back to your old self the way that you used to be do you hear me he will bring circumstances in your life to make you think that the the things that you used to do or choose to do to get yourself out of it that was not of god he will try to bring that back up that type of situation back into your life but we know that our god changes things the lord the most high changes our life. He can change it in an instant. And you can't allow the enemy to pull you back. Because there's going to be some times where you're going to feel like you need to go back to that old man. that Back to that old woman. Back to the future. <laughs> period. I'm just saying. Y'all y'all know how y'all had future things that was planned. When you had yourself in that world. And you was like, okay, in the, this is this how I want my future. You know, when you write down on your dream pad or your vision board you had these dreams but there's some things that have shifted that the lord is changing and he's changing it for the betterment of your life and sometimes you want to go back to the future but that's not what we about to do you want to go back to the future plans you had when you was out there in the world when you felt like you knew what you had going on you knew what to do that you wanted to do it on your own and what you wanted to do was what you wanted to do and you wasn't about to change that because y'all know we can get real real cocky and arrogant about that especially when we set our minds to it but see when he comes in and changes your life he changes your story and all the time you have to keep that story your story does not change your your story at the end of the day is going to be the same that he brought you through whatever you got through but it's going to be some different roads different bumps in the roads different turns maybe even u-turns but understand that he is going to make sure you make it to where you need to go and that's what you we all have to realize that our situations cannot allow us to go back to the old things that we used to do can i get an amen y'all i'm trying to tell y'all see the lord he comes in and swiftly changes you within your the i'm talking about when you in deep in your sin sometimes even in when you drunk i remember uh back in the day when i used to get tipsy the lord would come through i just would want to sing god's song that's crazy right because you would think i'd be want to sing something else but i would always want to sing uh gospel songs when i was tipsy and it always came up to me it's like he comes in even when you in your sin honey do you hear me he comes in even when you in your sin and he causes you to remember look remember what he told you remember the things that i did in your life when you weren't doing when you was like really really down when you was all out there don't clowning around in the streets trust and believe i was still there and i'm still here he was not lying when he said i would never leave you nor forsake you i promise you i got baby i'm a witness i'm a living witness he will never leave you nor forsake you because there's some things just like i said that baby he's gonna do see look at the <laughs> y'all just seen the usps truck just passed by baby he's still gonna deliver he's still gonna deliver everything that he promised you and everything that he's he spoke to you and showed you in his word is the truth he's gonna make sure it happens the lord ain't gonna change on you baby that's one thing i do know see these fools in these streets gonna change on you you go you might one day you might be good with your man or your woman and the next minute they might have a, a a temper tantrum and change on you cuss you out and call you all kinds of names and then you wondering what's going on that's because man will fail you hmm. i'm telling you man will fail you 
but not the Lord. The Lord ain't going to fail you. See, it's crazy because you can go from one thing to the other and that enemy will try to swiftly, like he will kind of sneak in. Y'all know just like a snake, it slides in and you don't know it's there. He will come in and bring some things to your notion to make you think about what you used to do and the things that you used to do when you came over your man house, baby. Y'all was shacking up and doing all kinds of stuff, honey, and try to bring that back to your remembrance. Like, oh, ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, the Lord says he's still going to be with you and you still so you can still do it okay seeing you he forgave you of your sins so why won't you might as well live on his grace that's the thing about it see the enemy gonna come in with all kind of twisted truth he'll put a little bit of the truth in it and then he'll put a little bit of the lie in it just to get you twisted up see that's why we have to be sober and see when i say sober some of you guys think i'm saying when you're drunk okay or when you high or something like that i ain't talking about no nah, none of that none of that i'm not talking about that i am talking about that sober where you not ignorant to the fact that you gotta kind of like dissect that thing like that thought that come into your mind dissect it and see if some of that is true if, is this true is this true like it can't be partially the truth you can't have a hey you can sin and it's fine comma god forgives you like all of that stuff you know you we know we gonna sin but it's not something that we are supposed to do intentionally we already know that so the enemy will come in and try to bring you back to where you used to be he don't want you to go forward but see we got to keep looking forward baby because baby we moving up in levels here ain't no turning back ain't no changing it around we have to keep going i'm telling y'all when the enemy comes in to try to change your life to try to get you to change and go back to what you was baby you gotta build up a muscle baby that's why you got to pray we got to go get in our word meditate on his word so that when that thing comes we can speak the word just like yeshua did um when he was on the hill okay you know the enemy was like i'll give you all of this i'll give you all of that if you bow down and worship me i'm telling you and see that worship it could be anything it could be <coughs> excuse me it could be anything that worship that he speaks about could be anything from going to the club again it could be anything from not wanting to read your Bible. It could be going back to that man. Whatever you um drinking and driving, drinking, whatever. Okay, it could be whatever that is a temptation to you. Sex before marriage, all of that. You know what I'm saying? Out messing around outside of your relationship. Whatever that is, because it's gonna be something that's real tempting that looks good. Let me get, let me give you an example. It's crazy because I've been in this car and I've seen about five cars pass through, and it's just been so much so much traffic. See, sometimes the enemy will come in and try to bring you a lot of traffic. Okay, let's just say, for instance, you got a business, right? The enemy will bring you all kinds of traffic when he's trying to get you back. And he'll bring you people that ain't on the side of the Lord. And you'll start to work with them. And they doing all kinds of stuff you don't know what you're dealing with. They might be liars and deceivers. And they may have some type of um, scam going on. And they trying to pull you in it. And then they get you sucked off in it. And the enemy done pulled you into back into where you was. But let me tell you something. The same thing goes with changing your life when you're not trying to do all of that extra spiritual stuff that's not of God. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know, the enemy will try to come through. It's crazy because he'll use even your boss or somebody that's over you to get you to go back. Say, you know, you made more money doing this or you, you did better with this. They loved you like that. See, he wants you to please the people or he wants you to go, uh, run after money. He wants you to run after the fame. That's what it is. But see, the Lord ain't about that. It's all about you You living for him. The things that you're doing is for him. What you got going is for him. It's not about that. So your mind have to be totally focused on that and not on the money, not on the fame, not on what people are loving on you for. Because, baby, people will love you today and change tomorrow. Do you hear me? Just like God changed us for the good. The enemy can change people for the bad if they're not sober. That's what it means to be sober, not listening to that junk that the enemy puts in your mind. And being sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, seeks, he walks around, creeps around like a roaring lion, baby, seeking who he may devour. And they're slithering in like a little snake. I'm telling y'all, be careful. Be careful because all of this stuff this out here in this world, it ain't for us. We ain't, you know, we we cool with it. We good. The things we do, you know, we ain't too we ain't too good for the people that's doing it because we still gotta love them. But my thing is, 
why would we put ourselves back in a position where we getting ourselves back into bondage again binding yourself ain't none of that you become very bound and see remember just remember back then when you couldn't even get it get out of it when things were wrong and things were going and all the people around you was like hey do it like this and you went on and followed what they was doing and are telling you to do and then they got you caught up some of those things got you caught up out in the streets doing you know selling selling those drugs and stuff you going back to the streets because it made your money but when you try just because you was now you got to work a job that you don't even like but that's the thing you're doing it for the glory of the most high you're doing it for him you're not doing it for them you're not doing it for the money i understand you got that light bill to pay you got that rent to pay you got that <laughs> car note to pay all of that yes everything you got to pay but think about it the most high is your money that's he, he i'm just gonna you got to replace him with the money put it like that i'm gonna say it like that you got to replace him with that idea because where your trust is supposed to be in him and not in the money that can provide for you don't trust in that because that can go anytime but see the lord that he didn't leave you not even in these streets, baby. When you was out here popping it, pop, lock, and dropping, baby. I said it, pop, lock, and drop. When you was out there doing your own thing, he ain't even leave us. That's what I'm saying. He's not going to leave us. But your friends, they might just dismiss you real quick. Their boss might say, you're gone. Those people that used to hang out with you might not come around no more. But him, he's never changing. He's going to always be with us. He's going to make sure he gets all the glory in your life. He's going to make sure he causes his light to shine up on you. That glory that he gives you will ever change, forever change you, changing your life for the better. You won't have to worry about all these nightmares and things that's happening around you, that's coming after you, all of those gang stalkers. The enemy coming in, trying to destroy your business. You ain't got to worry about that. God going to fight your battles. And even when it seems like he ain't there, he's still there. He going to come through right on time. You say, why You say why in the world it's not happening right now? Because he's waiting on a specific time. He, he going to surprise you. He's going to bring you a surprise. It's a gift. Just like you waiting on those Christmas gifts, it's going to be a gift. And it's a big blessing for you, okay? So we got to stay strong. We got to keep moving. We can't let the enemy deter us from the journey that we're on when, it, when we're coming to him. When we're going on a, a journey for the Lord, we can't allow the enemy to come in and change us. We can't allow the enemy to come in and bamboozle us and change our minds because he is able and capable to pull you down when you out there in them streets and you ain't got no... See, you put, what you end up doing is getting yourself off from under the, under the shadow of the Almighty. You going out there in them streets and doing things like that? Are you going out doing things behind closed, closed doors that you ain't supposed to be doing you getting yourself caught up you don't want to do that you want to stay up under his almighty hand baby do you hear me see man will change and it's crazy because i'm thinking about a dream that i did have um it was crazy because isaac carey was like my man or whatever and i was <laughs> yes in this dream and i don't even be thinking about him like that okay i just like the way he's saying girl Okay, but listen, he was with me and he was my man, right? And he was he was being faithful. But then I turned around and look, he's over there with another young lady. So I had to think back. I'm looking at this woman and him like, what in the world is going on around here? But I wasn't really tripping to tell you the truth because I kept my eyes. It was almost as if uh, I looked over and I seen a house. This is a nice, beautiful white house with a, a, a porch on it, like a, one of those long porches with the little picket um it's not the fence but it's like y'all know what i'm talking about over there and i was looking and my grandma was there and all my people was over there we were over there celebrating something we would we would it had to have been some type of church service or something and i'm over there sit well i'm there and i'm like wondering like what's going on like what are we having here and so my cousin comes over she's like oh that's me favorite song and i started to sing and they gave me the mic and i was like okay well whatever some of the things that we go through listen we may go through some things where people may leave us out and forget about us where they once said they loved us and they was close to us and we see them cheating or doing something wrong lying and you wondering why they over there giving their love to somebody else. But they not treating you the same way. They used to treat you like that, but now they all over somebody else. They done left you out. But see, on the other side, when I looked over there, there was something bigger for me. 
the crowd was just praising God. They was, I was singing. I'm telling y'all, I sung that song. I don't even know what song it was. Cause in my mind, while I'm there, I'm like, I don't even know this song, but my cousin told me, oh yeah, that's your favorite song. So I'm like, what in the world? But I got the mic and just started singing it. I knew the words. I knew everything. And I'm telling y'all, everybody was celebrating God there. See, sometimes we got to look at the situation from a different perspective. Your past, you may have been ghosted. They may have left you behind. They may have not wanted to be around you like that. They, they didn't include you in the things that they were doing. They were doing other things. I feel like I'm getting a whole revelation from this dream right now. But the, thank you, Lord. <laughs> thank you, Holy Spirit. So it just shows you that man can, man can disappoint you. They can lie on you. They can cheat on you. They can leave you out and ghost you, count you out as the black sheep. But see, when you look at something from a different perspective and you look at it from a God point of view, you understand that things are changing. He has something bigger and better for you where you will be celebrated. But not only that, the people that you will be around will celebrate God right along with you. Crazy, right? <laughs> it's crazy because even... um. What's the other guy's name? Um, Dietrich Haddon was there. You know, I don't know if they hang out or if they buddies or not, but they actually was together. He had his woman and whoever. I'm telling y'all, it was just crazy. And I'm like, what in the world is going on here? So listen, that change is going to be different. You might want to go back to that. You might want to go back to the, to the things that you used to do, but just remember how they treated you. Remember those things that they did when they allowed the enemy to use them to, to leave you high and dry to count you out you don't want to go back to that you don't want to go back to that we're going to be over here with a crowd praising god where everybody's being celebrated where it's happiness and peace and they calling you out by name they're not leaving you out because my cousin said that's mika favorite song for those of you who don't know my name is mika <laughs> so she's like calling my name in front of everybody and they gave me the mic see that's the thing about it see god is not going to leave you out He's going to call you by name. You may feel like you've been left out. You've been lied on, talked about, mistreated, used, and abused. But there's other people who have for you. There's another future. Because we're not going back to the future of the future that we had for ourselves when we was living that dangerous life. We're going, to the, we're going to God's future. That's where we're going. We're going to keep it steady. We, we may have to go down that slow and narrow road. It may take some time. And we might get in, the, you know, we might get in a place where we're impatient. But we know that that's the place where God is taking us, where people are going to celebrate us. They're going to celebrate the Most High right along with us. They're going to be up there rooting us on for the gifts that we have. For the thoughts that we have, for the, the, the business that you have, whatever you have set out to do for him, he's going to bring people there to celebrate you that actually loves him. Those people that don't have his eye on him, they're going to leave you. They can celebrate you one minute just like they did with Yeshua. They, he was riding on a, white, on a donkey. And they had the palm trees and they was saying, oh my God, it's, it's, the, it's the king. It's the king he coming through. You want people. Those people changed on him. So the next minute they tell him I hang him, you know, put him on the cross, leave him there dead. They they didn't want him there. You don't want people around you like that. You want to be how God, how Yeshua was when he got off the cross. He rose again, and there was something different about him. See, when you in the presence of the Most High, your presence even changed. Because even when he came back, he went to the disciples. And remember, he called out Peter by his name. Like I said, they going to call you by name. He says, tell the disciples and Peter to come and meet me. Okay? So they went to meet him. But they said he said, don't touch me yet because I haven't went to the Father. And see, it was something different about him. His whole glory had changed. He is the glory. So the glory came. And he, he told them, don't touch me yet. I haven't went to the Father. And see, that's how people going to be. That's how it's going to be. That's how it's going to be. The glory is going to be all over you. The glory is on you. You just have to realize it. And the thing about it is you can't allow people to just stop you from doing what you're doing just because they bring on the next, the next biggest thing to give you. When they come in to bring you the next, next biggest thing, why do I keep saying it like that? <laughs> when they come in to try to show you the next best thing, the next thing to do to try to get all this money, all that, how you can get around whatever you're doing to kind of outsmart the government and all that. No, no, ma'am. We're not doing that. 
No, ma'am. We're not even going back to those people. Because after, if you get in trouble with anything, they're going to leave you there. They're they going to leave you and go to the next best thing. That's what they're going to do. But what God does, he's never changing on you. And you're going to have so many people that are going to be around you, supporting you, lifting the most high up because they love him. And see, when you know somebody really, truly loves the most high, they're not going to act like that with you. They're going to try to do the right thing. They may get tempted to do the wrong thing, but they would choose the right thing. But see, those that have a reprobate mind, they're not going to help you. They're not going to be around you to say, oh, yeah, I'm going to vouch for you. I'm going to help you out. No, they're going to stick up for themselves and they're going to always be all about self. Selfish people. Y'all know that. It happens. It happens every day. It's hard to find a loyal person. But I know that the Lord will bring you people that are loyal to you, that are also loyal to him. And that's their main thing to do is to be loyal. So when I tell you this, don't go back. We're going to God's future, not back to the future. That's what we're going to do. We're going to keep it moving steady, okay? Y'all already know it. That's what we got to do. We came here to do this. So why let the enemy bring you back to something that was nothing for you? It wasn't nothing for you. Why, why allow the enemy to bring you back when you can continue to move forward and see his glory? all over your life because some of y'all i'm telling you you're about to be famous they're gonna be calling you out by name because of what you do baby what you're doing for the most high so get ready to receive whatever the most high has for you he got it for you and he calling you by name your name not nobody else's your name you ain't even got to have a doubt about it oh did he say so and so did he say that no he gonna say you and you gonna know it for fact for a fact and it's gonna be loud and clear that's Mika favorite song. And get they're gonna pass you the mic. That's your favorite thing. That's for you. That's what God gonna see. He's gonna say, that's that's their favorite thing. Let me give you what you've been asking for. Let me let you have this. Because I know you're giving me glory. And the people that I'm gonna surround you around, they're gonna pray for you. They're gonna stand in the gap for you. They're not gonna turn their back on you. I want you to be free and have the love, the, the things that are of love around you. People that truly love you, that also loves me. Ain't no doubt about it. We moving forward, baby. Type in the comments. I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward. All right, guys. This is the end of the message. I hope that you have enjoyed. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And sure, be sure to become a member. You can become a member on this channel and get all the perks. Of course, it's going to be amazing. So make sure you become a member. All you got to do is click join down there. And if you want to send a super chat, super thanks, or even a cash up dollar sign Diva TV, do so. Thanks to everyone who's been participating and blessing this channel. I bless you. And I pray that the Lord sees you through everything you're going through and he prospers you and give you great success in Jesus name. Amen. All right. Peace, love and light guys. Peace.